I'll spend the night up here for after the amateur dinner on Monday night. With all respect to Mr. Roberts and Mr. Jones, I, I doubt they, they had some gangly 6'5 guy in mind competing as an amateur. Hey, we'll make it work. I'll sleep on the floor if I have to. It's, it's an honor to, to be up here and to, to spend some time in this room. <laughs> the amateur golfer has always had a special place here at the Masters. Staying in the crow's nest, just another example of an only at the Masters moment. That happens when the co-founder is the greatest amateur of them all. Every time I've been in this room before, I've kind of been encouraged to pass through the champion's locker room. Walking through that room and just kind of looking around at, at all the different names and all these just titans of the sport and icons that you've looked up to, you know, for your entire life, you're in the presence of history. Two-time U.S. mid-amateur champion Stuart Hagestad finds himself back in the Masters field for the second time. Five years since he earned low amateur in 2017, Joining the likes of Tiger Woods, Jack Nicklaus, Ben Crenshaw, and reigning Masters champion Hideki Matsuyama as amateurs who played in multiple Masters tournaments. Not in my wildest dreams could I have ever imagined to be on any kind of a list like that. Like, it's, it's, it's pretty humbling and honestly, it doesn't feel real. Like Bobby Jones, Hagestad has no plans to turn professional. And as he finishes up his MBA and prepares for his future beyond golf, moments like these, especially here at Augusta, are not lost on him. There's very few places in golf that have like a tangible feel about them, and, and this is one of them. It's certainly a goal of mine just to have the chance to come up here and to spend some time in this room. And I mean, I'm sure you can see me smiling. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty neat place.